things happen to everyone. Getting fired by your boss during a planetary invasion is bad. Starting a street war with that planetary invader is bad too. Having your business blown up more by those planetary invaders, also bad. Yep, three doofuses got hit with some really bad things. But that's not what makes them special. What makes them special is what they do with the bad. Forget corporate armies. Forget courageous vault hunters. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. And maybe, just maybe, they uncover a shiny little nugget of good. Shop! They destroyed everything! Bouncing banana blast! <gasps> what have they done to you? Louis? Lou, where are you? Come on, pal, you better just be looming somewhere like you always do! Lou! Make a bad joke if you hear me! How did the robot get across the river? In a rowboat. You're not dead? I thought you were a goner for sure. I cannot die, Octavia. I am built to withstand incredible amounts of damage. TD or grenades cannot harm me. Nor can the physical collapse of the worst rated Froggart shop on Promethea. I'm gonna need a moment to myself. I suggest you use it to teach that killbot of yours some manners. Another word out of him, and he'll be in pieces. You risked your life to save mine. This is all my fault. I I'm so sorry, Fran. Fantastic! Fudge slide! Whip your butter ripple blast! Kimchi lemon cowabunga! I have been unable to solar charge while trapped beneath the rubble. My analysis of the current situation indicates that I have ample time to deep charge while you wallow in despair. Please alert me when your wallowing is complete. Oh, yeah. That's good source. Entering power sleep. Great. Awesome. My workplace is destroyed, my boss is on the verge of going nuclear, and the latest planetary invader wants me dead. Louis is right. I deserve a good wallow. This is me. Wallowing.
keeps getting weirder. What the hell are you doing here? I thought you hated it down here. So, what's good in the hood? And nice to see you too. Looks like you've got everything perfectly in order here. Been doing my best to help rebuild after the first invasion, but yeah. Really, living your best life. <laughs> Under 30, flirty and thriving. So I absolutely didn't need to rush down here and try and save your life? Nope. I know the time and place aren't ideal, but I've... I've really missed you. The way I left was messy and complicated and also not ideal. But we can talk about all of that someplace that isn't a still-smoking pile of rubble. Uh, I'm kind of busy. What? Oh, sorry, I forgot. You left Promethea on your schedule, you come back on your schedule. Everything's always on your schedule. And you don't look so put together yourself. Outfit torn, blood splattered on your face. As your loving brother, I gotta say, you look like hell. You look like you rolled through a ratch nest. I've had a day. A fun day? No, a not fun day. A running for my life day. Ah, yeah, those days happen here. Look, I get it, you don't handle conflict very well, but this isn't our first invasion. Pro tips, duck and cover, run and scream, and the third thing that I forget. It'll all blow over in a snap. This isn't your garden variety invasion. Susan Caldwell invaded the Atlas Station too. She was convinced Reese Strongfork had a vault key and they wanted it. Holy crap, seriously? Yes, they showed up minutes after I was fired for the Jabbers and I think they took my boss hostage and I stole his car and I crashed on this horrible planet and they were psychos and I killed one of them with this and I tore my outfit and I had to walk so far in these shoes to find you. Whoa, 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 you killed someone? Yeah. Yes, Octavio, and I feel super weird about it. Bad weird. I have a lot of emotional unpacking to do, but not here. Not on this planet. On another planet with less killing. I would prefer less killing. <sighs> Bring it in. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm fine, I'm just a little... Bring it in. Shh. First kill's always the hardest. I know. I've killed many people. <laughs> so, so many people. When you think about it, killing is just being born in reverse. That doesn't make any sense. You could use a treat. Cuckoo coconut. The last flavor to survive the attack. Anu, this is Fran. She's taken care of me ever since you, well, left. Fran, this is Anu, my sister who was smart enough to get a job off planet. It's nice to meet you. And thank you, I love ice cream. Frozen yogurt. Oh. What's wrong with frozen yogurt? Nothing. Nothing. There is nothing wrong with frozen yogurt. Charging complete. As is, I sense, you're wallowing. Oh, uh, who's this? Louis? He's an assassination bot. But like a cool assassination bot. Incorrect. Louis? Meet Anu, my sister. This woman bears no resemblance to you. You may have been duped. Families come in all shapes around here. The shape of mine is that Anu's my big sister, and I'm her more popular adopted baby brother. Ugh. I see. You seem non-hostile. I will not scan you for contracts that would oblige me to kill you. Your survival probability is 98%. See? Cool assassination bot. We are... Never had anything like that at Atlas, shockingly. Atlas? Oh no, Octavio! Not another paper pusher serving one of those heartless corporations that only exist to destroy people's lives. What? No, oh well, sort of, yes, but not me, no. 
Atlas, Malawan, TDR, doesn't matter. You corp goons take what you want and you move on. You're the big people and we're just the tiny ones getting squished beneath your heel. No, really, I, I, I don't squish people. I left Atlas, I swear, I never even wanted to design weapons. You can't just judge a person by their resume, you know. Unless you're hiring them. Well, sure. I don't know. You sure seem like a corporate tool. I was just fired for refusing to make anything that would kill anyone. And for freeing lab jobbers. Well, maybe not. Plus, she's my sister. We share that free spirit DNA. Or what if we shared DNA? I don't smell too much of that Atlas stink on you. All right. You're okay with me. For now. <laughs> thank, thank me. I, I mean you. I mean... Thank. Don't pay her any mind, Anu. Took her the better part of a year to trust me. <gasps> you trust him? What drugs are you putting in your frogurt? He practically invented the concept of sticky fingers. He steals constantly. Come on, Anu, you know my stealing days are behind me. Friend sure does. Back me up, friend. Friend knows what's up. Right, friend? Never stolen from me, at least. Cause he doesn't have a death wish. That's right, call me Mr. Not Steal. Because he spends all his days not stealing. Very impressive. Proud of you, bro. Thanks. Look, have I stolen in the past? Yes. Do I steal currently? I guess we'll never know. Point is that even if I hypothetically stole, it hasn't landed me in hot water yet. Secure around the perimeter. What was that? I definitely heard something. Like, a radio. It's those damn meddlesome teens. Teens? Teenagers? Yes, teenagers love to impersonate electrical appliances. Like radios and blenders and sous vides. I am not involving myself in this. I once saw two teenage girls perfectly impersonate a dishwasher. That sounds highly degenerate. Maybe it was this. <gasps> what could that be, Octavio? Well, I don't know. It looks like some sort of comms device. But who could have left it here? Maybe it was teenagers. It was not. Could be a teen's comms device for arranging dabs and spinnies. Those are not things. Oh, no. They are. Really? Fran, it's... Louis, stop! No, it's a TDR's comms device. Somebody must have dropped it. Yes, TDR. Yeah, probably. Resistance has been minimal. We'll be back at base for happy hour. Half off banana daiquiris. Well, let's hope command finds what they're looking for. Doomsday device, whatever that is. Yeah, that's a daiquiri device, am I right? <laughs> They're looking for... A doomsday device? I think, and they think, there was a vault key being kept on the station, at Atlas. That's what TDR wanted. I don't know what they mean by doomsday device. Probably something bad. Which means whatever's in that vault has got to be something big. Which means we need to get as far away from them as possible. Or maybe as close as possible. Are you completely insane? We have here what they call in the business world... A comms device. An edge. If we can find whatever's in that vault before Tidior does, we can change our lives. No. No, 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 it's not worth it. Tidior has many guns, talking guns, guns with legs. We will be killed by all the guns. Your sister is correct. You probably will be. Since we were kids, you always wanted to heal the world, to prevent suffering. Yeah? What better way to prevent suffering than stopping ruthless weapons corporations like Tidior from obtaining some priceless resource from a vault? You know whatever they want in there can be good. We, on the other hand, can change the world. We don't have to be nobodies. 
change the world. Uh, that's not me. It also is not me. It's me. People call you? Anu, how are you? It's, uh, well, it's been a while since I, uh, you know... Fired me. Yeah, that. A few hours ago. Yeah, 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 ages. So, uh, you know, uh, ever since the Tedior attack, things up here have been getting a little, uh... Crappy. Catastrophically crappy. They stole our vault key. We had a vault key, and they stole it. And I know it's not mentioned in any of our brochures, but Atlas's entire business strategy sort of relies on it not being stolen. Anu, I am asking you, nay, <clears throat> begging you, please stop them from getting that vault treasure. Why would you think I'm anywhere near? Because you stole my car, Anu. And it can't be a huge shock that I can track where it is. And, and that, 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 that's fine, actually. Right now, that's totally fine, because whatever TDR is planning is going to be just, 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 uh, just... Apocalyptic? Oh, yeah, nice vocab game. You know, I was going to say so, so bad, but that's way better. This kid gets it. Keep him. Okay, well, I got to run, because, uh... Bye, boss! Looks like they're going to... Wait, Timmy! Bye, boss! What's a Timmy? TDR has disabled Atlas's comms. Timmy equals TDR comms. Got it. You definitely have not. You really don't give a ratchet's ass about Atlas or TDR. You ready to go to God knows where for this vault? I suppose. Wherever it is, it can't be worse than here. I'm in. Scissors in! I knew you'd come around. Fran, putting this plan into action is on you, girl. Plan? Don't call me that. Noted. So, you come into Vault Town? <laughs> my shop is gone. I lost my temper. But I just need to sit somewhere quiet and visualize the pulp I'll beat Susan Coldwell into if I had the chance. I've lost enough to know the most adventures don't have happy endings susan is tdor she's the ceo the big cheese and we steal it's not stealing we lift the vault treasure from under tdor's nose you sock a wallet to tdor translate a property you sock a wallet to susan actually yes that logic checks out hmm We've been through a lot together. When the yogurt was thick and thin. <gasps> All right, I'm in. Yes! Fran makes three. We'll be unstoppable when you use your crazy mode on your hover chair. I do not use that mode anymore. And Al Zero U13 makes four. I enjoy hunting of any kind, regardless of whether it involves paid human assassinations. That's... nice. Now that you're officially a team, in the past 15 seconds I've designed, programmed and activated a teamwork morale sensor. It gathers data based on your behavior toward each other, and scores your camaraderie from one out of ten skateboards. All sorts of data. Your speech, actions, how you look at each other, Personal hygiene. Why are you using skateboards to rate our teamwork? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Octavia. Data suggests that skateboards are more well-received than stars, hearts, thumbs up, and winky faces. The question you should be asking, why aren't we using skateboards to rate everything else? What's so important about a teamwork score? The odds of you failing are already remarkably high. The remaining small chance of success depends entirely on your ability to work together and find cohesion as a team. Based on your interaction so far, your current rating is... 6 out of 10 skateboards! Congratulations! You're well on your way to becoming true bosom buddies. Well, whatever our score is, we start by gathering more information. That'll give us all what we want. Anu? They surely have VIP access codes to get off the planet. Fran, you get the whereabouts of Susan. Susan! And I can learn more about this vault treasure and strike it rich. 
We'll just eavesdrop on this comms for intel. It shouldn't take long at all. I find Zipper Ripper to carry the best athleisure wear. Agreed. And it's eco-friendly. Really? There's something about the threading process and uh, free trade materials. Huh. What makes something free trade? This is hopeless! Wait, they are telling us where TDR's heading. Zipper Ripper athleisure wear? No, it's not what they're saying, it's how they're saying it. The Lycra really supports my delicates, too. The reverberations bouncing their voices. The faded signal. They're in a tunnel, maybe somewhere underground. The sewer! I've got just the guy to help us. And I have an entry to the sewer in the basement. Why do you... If you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh... Yeah, don't worry about them. Uh-huh. Well, let's quit dilly-dallying and get our butts to the sewer. Louis, guard the shop. It is useless rubble. It is my useless rubble. Come on, this way!